I Frankenstein this Barbie. I I took it apart so I could have it have bell bottom looking jeans. And I put this on there and these arms. I put her head on there. What I'm gonna do is reroute her hair now a different color. Cause I make it long. I'm gonna do her hair. Get her hair transplanted from this Barbie. Because I want it to be black with blonde uh, bangs. See, I rerouted this one's already. It's, I made it long and everything, and a different, put it, this one on a different body too. So I like this one. Here's another one of my Barbies I rerouted. Original body, but different arms I put on this body. And I rerouted her hair. See the sides? They're blonde. The side, burn elf looking uh, locks. And this one's me. I did the hair like this silvery ash she color. And then lavender little streaks. And here's my little doggy. I put the doggy's hair in there too. Mm hmm. This is how you reroute the hair. You see how I already did another doll's with this donor. <laughs> <laughs> You get a piece that is like the same amount as the little hole that it's already in. Because there's like little holes that it's already in. See? The little holes that's already in. You can take a, a little, the whole piece and then a little, little bit from another hole if you need to. But don't take too much because bigger thicker holes are not good to put in the hair of the head what I want to do is go ahead and get this cut and then I get it wet and then I put it in one of these needles. See how big the hole is? So it's actually able to hold a lot of hair. <sighs> Rerooting Barbie doll's hair or any doll's hair is pretty obvious. This is the stuff that you should need. You get it? <sighs> Hopefully it's showing. And then, you need a pair of pliers, you know, that's what these look like. And, um, make sure your hair is in there. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do is go ahead and cut all this Barbie doll's hair off. You see? You know, make sure you get to the root of the hair. And everything. You know. So, so you can start off with the whole brand new head. And after you get it chopped off, chopped off, chopped off, chopped off, chopped off. What you want to do, <laughs> take the head off, of course. Okay, and then um, get your pliers and get 
inside the hole of the head and pull out all the extra hair that's inside of it, of the hole right here. Okay. So you screw all this out, you know, get it all out. You pull all the extra hair out to make sure, you know, you got it, most of it. You can still, and then the next thing you do is you get your hair, which is you start at here, but I start right in the middle. You can start from the side if you want. But I start in the middle, but I'm not going to do the middle with the black hair. I'm going to do the blonde hair in the middle. So I'm going to start away from the middle. And you poke the hole that's already there. You know, especially in the front and around the head. But in the top, you can just fill it up with wherever you want. But try to fit it with all the holes that's already there. So you take it and you put it here, um, starting from the side because I want the bangs just to be a streak like Rogue from X-Men, but I, not particularly that, that, it's my hairstyle that I had when I was 16, and that's what I want. It's a little You pull it through like this, and then you tie the knot closer to the neck right here. Make sure you got both. Okay, what you're gonna do is tie this in one little loophole. As you can see, what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to tie the knot. See, one of the loop knots. And then, as you have it right here, you pull it through real tight. And it won't escape. So now you have a piece of hair right there. And you continually keep going and going and going until you're done. I'm going to use some blonde for the middle part first. Okay? Keep going. <clears throat> okay, I couldn't decide between, like, two streaks of blonde in the front for this of blonde and being black or do red and black i decided actually the red is gonna do so i'm gonna get the knee i got the needle now i'm finally going to go in the middle of the hair and get it through the hole Sometimes you go through the hole and you get the whole thing out. That's what you gotta also be careful of. Pulling all the hair out of the hole. Well, you get it and you put it in the hole. And then you do that. Pull it through. You get a grip on this part, and you pull as much as you can out, get a hold of it. There we go, okay. 
We have both sides. Okay. Do the same thing that you did with the black piece. Tie a knot. A loop knot, see? Sometimes the knot is too small as well, so you want to probably double knot it if it doesn't go all the way through the hole. That made it. It's okay. So, there's the bangs. The rest will be black. <laughs> and two shrinks will be bangs in the front. So, see you after I'm almost done. Here's the two streaks that I was talking about that I wanted to be in the front. And then the rest is going to be black. So, like I had my hair in when I was 16. I did this. I did auburn red streaks in the front, and then the rest I dyed my hair black. It was really super cool, so I want this to be my 16-year-old self. The coolest hairstyle I've ever had. Yay. It was all layered like willows from Buffy, and it was like awesome. It was kind of like half dark willow, half light willow. It's like really curvy. Okay. This is the body I want it to go on. I decided I wanted the arms to be different. And I wanted them to be these arms. So I unscrewed the back. And now I have to split it through the middle to get to the arms. I want to get this open here. Aha, there we go. Got it open. That's what it looks like on the inside of this. And here you go, see? The arms is what I wanted. Here's the hole back here. You just get a regular screwdriver. See how it's a triangle? This will work. And you just get it in there. Go to the left, to the left. You unscrew it. Just keep on going. It takes a while. Get a grip on that. And it starts to come up. Mm -hmm. Rise, rise. It's rising. If you can see. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. So now I'm going to Frankenstein this. Open it up. See, it just went open. Now I'm going to replace these arms with this. So what I do, this is what the bottom looks like. This is the front. I put them in like this. And I put the arm in its place right there. I put the other arm in its place right here. As you can see that. And I put the head, I needed a new neck so the head could fit on this. And I just place it in there like a dummy. And I get the one with the screw, place it in the middle where it's supposed to be. Now, screw it back to the right, to the right. Mm-hmm. 
Just keep on going with it. And as you can see, now it looks cool and gothic -y. Looks better style, creative. Okay, the only way I guess I'm going to be able to find it is by pulling, is by pulling this out a little bit. See where the tips move. Let's see. Oh, it's so hidden good. There it might be. This one. Yes, I found it. That's how you find it. And you just pull it in. That's part of it. That's part of it, because that's the one that I pulled out with the other side. So the other side needs to be pulled, pulled on. I don't know. That was one side. That's one. See? It's... Uh... Where's the other side? I don't know. That was the only one. There's two. It's not the only one. I can't find the other one. This one is the one. Oh, no. So there was that mistake. I guess I can just redo it. If I find the other one, though, then I don't have to. <sighs> It has to be somewhere it was tied to. And I don't know, because there's two of them, not just one. So which one's what? I don't know. There's one. I'm not finding it. I'm not seeing it shrink or anything. Because I'm pulling on it. I don't find it. I can't find it. So... I will eventually find it. I, I went through all the strands. And it doesn't seem... Oh, here they are. Here's one. Little one. And maybe that's the other one. I don't know. One side, the other side. One side, the other side. Yep, these are the two sides. Oh my gosh, but... Something missing... It's tied, but I don't know. This is really good one. Oh, two minutes of that. I'll just come back. Okay, trying out the one that's not so freaking sharp, which would be great if it was just as sharp as the other one, because duh, it would be easier to go through things and making extra holes. Um, because some of these are not even and you have to make an extra one. Mm. Well, I'm doing this part anyways. The part of the head where that is. Let's see how this works out. Oh, it's working. Okay, good. It came, it went through. That's good. It went through. It's working. See, sometimes this happens too. Look, it went all the way through. So I have to redo it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back through the hole again. Come on. Which part was that? <sighs> okay. That actually wasn't a extra hole that didn't even go through. It went through the hole that was already there, which was where the hair was. And that's not good either, making it bigger. So, I have to hope that it made itself a hole. Yes, it did. It made a hole now. That's good. Okay. That's getting messy. Mm -hmm. I can see this on camera. Mm 
Come on. There we go. Ugh, some of the hair. Just didn't make it through. Well, hell. Oh, God. Tie a knot. Make a bell of gray, make a bell of cotton. Make a bell of hay, make a bell of cotton. Probably should tie an extra knot onto the knot. Make them line up because the needle was so thick. Just to make sure. Uh, oh, well, I guess I just didn't put them on top of the thing. See, they kind of are next to each other. Plus, it needs to be cut. Too much of a tail behind on it. That's getting on camera at all. Okay. Next. Now, to the next one. I made a hole for it. As you can see, now for the next. Okay, this is the real time of how long it takes and what I do to reroute the Barbie doll's hair from this Barbie. I love this Barbie though, but it's got to come from it to put on this one. God. Okay. Here we go. This is what it does. And it, trying to make sure the camera sees it as well. So, there we go. Get yourself a piece. Uh, it's kind of thick, but it'll do. I guess I like to swirl it around get to the ends. Sometimes you gotta get away. Okay. To put it through the needle's hole. Patience and discipline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can see that. Okay, well, I don't know. Hopefully that gets all together. What I'm going to do is go to the middle. Right here. I'm going to have to start right here and create a new hole for it. I'm creating a new hole because... Um, I want it to be thicker in the middle to cover it up with the clippy thingy. And here we go. As you can see, it's upside down. And you pull it through the hole of the neck, grab the other end. Okay. And then you tie this, tie this knot. Once you get it through, as you can tell, as you can see if you can see it. 
Mm. There's a knot. It's not big enough of a knot, so I'm going to risk making another one. Because I didn't fully go through the needle. And everything. So, ugh, didn't even make a bigger. That hole should be together. So I'm going to tie another knot to put the hole there knot together. Hopefully that knot will go all conjunct together. Okay, there's the knot. And I'm going to cut off the excess part. There we go. Keeping the knot out. And here we go. Pulling the other end through. Ta da! Where's the access? Mistake. But still, I went through. See, now it's littler because I didn't go through the needle hole all the way. Okay. More time wasting. Trying to get this. Picking a piece. One by one of the holes. Okay. I'm going to use this piece thick. Hopefully, I get this through. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Trying to get it all the way through the hole, but it's not all going. No, there it goes. Goody. Yeah, I got it through the needle now. Okay, here we go. Okay. There's the middle. Okay. Lining the needle up with the extra hole. Right here, as so. See that? And... Punching it through. Sometimes it gets stuck on... I don't make a hole probably through the, the place where I don't want it to make a hole. I can't see it. Yeah. So I have to pull it out a little bit. Get it to come through the hole instead of poke through the face or something. Because I think that's what it's doing. Oh, there it comes. There it is. It's coming through the hole. So I grab it because it's strong, as you can see. <sighs> Ta-da! Got this. Got that. This part, I'm going to tie a whole knot. You know, the knot there. There you go. Cut off the access.
the knot still remains. Okay. And I pull this through. It all. And it sticks and stays. And soon it will be filled. Okay, next step is trying to make sure the part is covered and it's parted, see? There's a little extra space in the hole. I could use, just fill it up with one or two more to cover it up if I need to. Making sure this the part's even and it's co covering the head. In the middle, first I just do the whole entire middle. You know, two sides, one here, one there, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then I get to the back. And then I start filling it up from the front of the head, just right here on the outline, go all the way around. And maybe, maybe like a couple of, um, four of them on the sides, right there underneath the part, if I have enough room, because inside, as you can see, there is sometimes it clots and you just have to stuff it in there for the neck to so it can fit on the neck, you know. But we'll see. See more filled in them after a while. Okay, here's one of the most annoying things that happens during rerouting the Barbie doll's hair. Okay, when you pull it through, sometimes it gets caught onto other knots. And you have to take it out or somehow it gets it goes through a you have to un see that it's inside of a, a knot that was next to it now I have to pull this off here slide it off somehow mm -hmm. uh, so it's all messed up there as you can see I freed it on that side but it's still happening on this side, so I'm trying to pull half of it through so it won't all the way come um, through this side, so I won't have to redo it. And I have to separate the sides from the side. Like, you know, the loop strands, one loop strand, the other, and I can't tell because they're both even on this end of the tail. I'm trying to separate the loop strands so I can pull one side through and leave the other. That's the other side. I'm not sure which one's what. Hmm. So if I get the shorter end, so the other longer end is what I'm holding on to. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Separating this. From one of the strands. So there's what's left on this end. Also, I need to start pulling this strand out wherever it came from. I don't know. But first, I need to go ahead and undo the. Seems to be like not separating 
and it made a mess and it took out so much more of the strand. So it left the tail like this. So I might as well just tie neither one. Okay, to find the other one, I'll just pull some of it out. See what's coming. Can't find it. We'll just go through the root and pull on each little root. See if it's any of these. Nope. I can't tell where it's coming from, so screw it. I'll just tie these two together. How about that? Just make it all one equal knot and hope that it doesn't mess it up. So, oh well, there we go. Tied that together. Now I can just go ahead, pull one in there. I want one, and here's wherever the other one is. I'm not sure. Mm -mm. So it just waste all the time doing them. So, oh, here it is. Found it. Here is the strand. Just pull and yank. Must be part of it. Make sure that comes out. Now there's a little strandsies right there. So I cut these extra pieces off the part. Okay. And just keep on going. with the part in the middle. Here we go. This is done now, actually. I finished it. So, but, see, it looks like it's covered, but there's some left, but it covers it up like that, see? Because it has had too much in the hole. See, it's really clogged. But let's see if it fits over this head. <laughs> Actually, dang. The neck is really fat. Oh my gosh, it fit before. Dang. Okay. Okay, so the neck is kind of fat. I already cut some of it off, see? Now I'll just cut some more off the edges of it. And see if it fits. I don't know. Little bit pieces of it, and see if it fits in this whole thing. Oh, it's fitting. It's fitting. It's fitting. But not all the way. Kind of. I hate that it like is so loose that it flies around. Well, there we have it. It's pretty much done. There you go. Punk rock. Yay. It's done. Let's deal with it. The way it is and the way it goes. Okay. It's done. Finished. Ta da! Voila. I just super glue the bottom of the neck so it won't be moving around too much. Super cool. Yay.